Moments, a masked man stormed into a Fall River convenience store demanding money. And this, despite the scary situation, the owner says he's been through much worse. New at 530, we're hearing more about his life before coming to the United States and how it prepared him for this holdup. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima joins us now with more from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. The owner tells me he's kept this wooden two by four behind the counter since he bought the store a year ago. He had never had to use it until Monday night. Ahmad Abdul Rahman says he's always ready, so when a masked man armed with a metal baton barged into his convenience store, he knew exactly what to do. My first reaction was just going to my stick, grab it, and into his head. Abdul Rahman wasn't intimidated. In fact, he had expected this day to come. I live in forever, so you have to protect yourself here. So I was expecting by any time somebody walk in, so I was ready. While most of us couldn't imagine going through a situation like this, Abdul Rahman says he survived much worse. Uh, this uh, situation with the rover is a piece of cake. You see, Abdul Rahman is a Syrian civil war refugee. He and his wife came to America four years ago, but before that, he worked as an accountant in a town just outside Damascus. Imagine when the door open and five, six, seven come with a very heavy machine guns and you deal with them. So what about so only one with a stick. That's so normal. Abdul Rahman bought the farm market just over a year ago. He says it will cost $1,000 alone to repair the register and more to fix the glass displays and merchandise that was smashed in the struggle. But he's grateful he and his family are okay and that the community has been so supportive. He's a good, humble person. He'll give you if he has it. You know what I mean? If he has it, he'll give it to you. But you don't have to take from him, that's for sure. And Abdul Rahman hopes his neighbors can learn from his experience. Try to be safe and try to be ready. You just be ready for any situation and you're going to be okay. Police took some fingerprints and they're also reviewing the surveillance video, but no arrests have been made. Reporting in Fall River, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.